Well, good evening, Mrs. Helmick. Steve, wishing you a very pleasant evening. And, you know, uh, talking about the medical system, I came across this article the other day, and it's kind of interesting because it highlights, you know, what I've been saying uh, for quite a time now is how you can actually spot BS when you see it. Because a lot of these people, although they're very educated, you know, these scientists and professors and so on and so forth, uh, there is a part of them that is very childish and very gullible and they don't seem to realize that um, well they're actually confessing stuff as they write articles uh, now I'm just going to read you the article first and then we'll come back we'll do a quick wrap up and uh, we'll talk about this confession and how you can spot BS right off the mark okie dokie here we go uh, this from RT uh, 19th of April 22 uh, hepatitis of Ooh, unknown origins spreads. Cases of acute hepatitis in children have been reported in the UK as well as multiple EU nations. Multiple cases of acute hepatitis in children have been reported in Europe over the past few days, the European Centre for Disease Prevention and Control said in a statement on Monday. The UK was the first to report the issue and had accumulated the most cases to date, the watchdog noted. All the cases in Britain were presented clinically with severe acute hepatitis with increased levels of liver enzymes. Huh, wasn't there a story about um, changing the DNA in the liver? Hmm, probably just a coincidence. While some of the patients also reported gastrointestinal symptoms including abdominal pain, diarrhea and vomiting in the preceding weeks. Following the reports of cases of acute hepatitis of unknown origin, unknown, sees unknown origin by the UK Health Security Agency, additional cases have been reported in Denmark, Ireland, the Netherlands and Spain, all places that had high rates of vaccination. Probably just a coincidence. In addition, nine cases of acute hepatitis, along with children aged 1 to 6, have been found in the U.S. state of Alabama, the watchdog said. The transatlantic cases have also tested positive for adrenovirus, and it was not immediately clear whether or not they are somehow related to the European outbreak. The origins of acute hepatitis are still unknown, and the ECDC, along with local specialists, are currently running various tests to establish the reasons behind the outbreak. Investigations are ongoing in all countries reporting cases. At present, the exact cause of hepatitis in these children remains unknown, the watchdog said. A UK incident team investigating the cases has suggested that they may have been caused by an infectious agent or a possible toxic Exposure. Ha! Huh, fancy that. The investigators, though, they've already ruled out the possibility that the outbreak might be linked to coronavirus vaccines, since the children infected had little in common altogether. No link to the COVID-19 vaccine was identified, and detailed information collected through a questionnaire to cases about food, drink and personal habits failed to identify any common exposure. Okay, so there it is. We have a new kind of hepatitis. And uh, it's, you know, actually my father always said to me, uh, when you read an article, or when you read the newspaper, uh, you should read the editorial. And if you don't read the whole article, at least read the last paragraph. And it's in the last two paragraphs that is the real giveaway. And it's so much like the child, you know, who's um, taken some cookies out of the kitchen and hid them in their room. And you go to the, your child and you say, did you take those cookies? And they go, nope, I didn't take those cookies. And you say, well, I'm going to search your room. They go, well, that, that's okay, but don't look in the bottom drawer. I searched the bottom door already and, and, and the bottom drawer is fine. So where's the first place you're going to look? It's the bottom drawer. So in those last two paragraphs, what, why would you say that it's not connected to COVID or the vaccination? I mean... Isn't that suspicious? They said in the article that they're not really sure of the cause, but they're absolutely certain that it was not connected to COVID or the uh, the vax. Isn't that a bit of a giveaway? You see, they're telling you right there that there could be a connection, but they don't want you to think that. 
because there's already too many connections and there are too many adverse reports coming out now about this whole thing. Um, you know, it's like those whole series of things we had through winter that uh, suddenly breathing cold air can give you a heart attack or a stroke. Um, uh, overt exercise uh, can give you a heart attack or a stroke as all of these football players and tennis players are collapsing on the field. Oh, nothing to see here. It's just a coincidence. So pay attention to these articles. Read the last paragraph, or the last couple of paragraphs, because you'll find that most of the best information is right there. All the qualifiers of the previous article is right there. So even if you don't read the whole article, read the headline, maybe read the first couple of lines or the first paragraph, then scroll down and at least read the last paragraph. And I assure you, you will find it will change your understanding of things and you will find it quite enlightening. Okie dokie, well I hope you enjoyed that and in the meantime this is Hamlock Steve signing off wishing you a very pleasant evening and we'll talk very very shortly. You take care now. See ya. Bye.